Moshi Moshi, welcome to trailer reaction videos. Today we're going to look at the season 2 official trailer of Mr. Osomatsu. So, it's going to be fun. We just saw the characters there a bit, but we want to see more of them. Now, if you want to know what's what's all about, please refer to the previous trailer down below with a teaser because I'm not going to waste my time there. We're going to get to the fun and excitement of it. And like I said earlier, not your father's Miss Osomatsu-kun and not for kids. Get ready. Things are going to get wacky. Oh, this is stereotypical anime. This is not that anime. Oh, okay. <laughs> Proudly presents. Nineteen sixty six version. <laughs> Live. Unpopular. Totoko. CGI. <laughs> Social commentary. <laughs> Dion. So yeah, that's the wide mouth guy, Dion saying that. So first of all, yeah, social commentary about big companies who just want to get rich. Yeah, I've been hearing about it since the eighties. And also, you got to admit, the credits in every season are creative. They go with this stop-motion animation type stuff. And I like it. It's creative, yeah. Except for the one I saw called Osomatsu-san in Summertime, where they pay homage to the credits of the 1988 cartoon. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I like how... They're saying it's the greatest, and their and the red texts being written up there are, are like that. Yeah, right. Their failures are weak. I like this show. It defies a stereotype of anime, but some of the scenes there, like using mixed media, where it's like a stereotypical anime. You name one, because I don't want to waste my time naming them all. What comes to my mind? A live action <laughs> CGI. Oh, they're going to take the pickle and peanut route. Yeah, kind of, and kind of like the way the uh, Dino De Laurentiis from what? Huh? No gorillas? Fine. Sorry, pal. Kind of like the way the 2015 reboot of Danger Mouse, why aren't you watching it? And if you have, why aren't you watching it again? Was catered to those who not only watched the original, but watch shows like Gravity Falls and Wander Over Yonder with the 2015 reboot of DuckTales. This one doesn't seem to be more than catered to those who watch the original show, but catered to those who watch shows like Gravity Falls and anime, I'm telling you, judging by the colors in this reboot, it does feel Japanese. And speaking of which, when Totoko was talking and getting all excited about money and we, as soon as she started screaming she sounds like 2017 webigail who the hell cares about quality just go sell this crap what do we care if they complain after we already got their money 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 some of the voices in 2017 ducktales 
does feel anime-ish. They want to cater to the anime audience. I don't know about you, but I like this anime. And yes, you can watch the Osamatsu-san exclusively on Crunchyroll, but hey, that's okay if you can't get access to it. You can watch it on uh, Pluto TV and Tubi. Pluto TV, you can watch the second season. But oh, if you don't, if you don't, if you if you lost it on Tubi TV, that streaming service where they just pull the plug on things like most streaming services do, don't worry. Get on physical media like Blu-ray. So, this is Matthew B. Lamont saying, I recommend it. And, uh, have a nice day. Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. Yay! You know what? I'm not sure what's going to happen next time. So, sorry. <laughs>